everyone, it's Misty here from the Jolly Fat Elf. In today's video, I am making the first card using the Whimsy Stamps Paper Door Card Kit that I hauled last week. Um, starting out, I am trimming down this cloud stamp. Um, I kept having an issue with ink getting on the border, so I just went ahead and cut it down um, using my Tim Holtz um, scissors. It doesn't damage the stamp um, and I got so like I was getting so frustrated because I was getting so much ink around the border so here I am stamping I'm gonna stamp this um, two times it took me about four times each because it's a solid stamp um, to get a good impression but I'm using pool party ink from Stampin' Up and I'm using a piece of whisper white cardstock um, just because it's from Stampin' Up and the ink tends to work better and then once I get that stamped, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. And sorry that I'm off screen here, but I'm just cutting it down to the size of the stamp. And then I'm cutting four pieces at um, one inch and then one piece at two and five eighths by four. So four by one inch <laughs> and then one at two and five eighths by four. And then I've cut my card base down. This is pool party cardstock to four and a quarter by eight. And I'm scoring it at one and one quarter and two and a half on each side. Um, I'm making a bridge card. This is not the first time I've made one. I have several um, that I will try to remember to link on the um, in slate. So once I've done that, I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere my stamp pieces. Um, I'm using the, um, what's this called? Scrapbook.com. <laughs> adhesive unfortunately i can't link you to this kit it is out of stock however um they go on sale on the 10th of every month so make sure you set yourself a reminder on your phone on your calendar put it in your planner um because several of you were interested in this kit so i'm going to go ahead and stamp both of the bunnies and i'm going to be using the egg die to cut out some of the pattern paper and here i'm just kind of selecting um the patterns that i want to use for my eggs um, I really love this paper. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it's not necessarily um, just a flat matte paper. It's really pretty, and to me, pastels just scream spring and Easter, um, so I really, really love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out like a square around um, that egg. That way I can run those through my die, um, die cutting machine in just a minute. But first I'm gonna go ahead and stamp um, the girl and the boy bunny. And before I forget, you may have noticed that I had the foam in my Stamparatus when I was stamping that background stamp. Normally you wouldn't have to do that, but I could not get a good impression unless I had the foam underneath. And if you have a little bit more arm strength than I do, that may not be an issue. And since now if you were doing a Misty, you wouldn't be able to do that at all. But since this Stamparatus has um, a little bit more room with the door, I was able to do it and I was able to get my crisp images. So here, like I said, I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp because I'm going to be using some Copic markers to color. I'm going to go ahead and talk you through it today because it was really quick. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the Copic gray markers and my Smoky Slate marker from Stampin' Up is just way too dark. So I'm going to be using the R20 to color in their ears and the bottoms of their feet. Um, here, I was thinking that I was just going to spread the color out with the color Splendor, but I went ahead and just went back over it. Um, and then once it dries, I'll darken it up again at the bottom to kind of, that way if you don't have two, you know, um, excuse me, two colors close together, if you just let it dry and you go back over it, it'll create a darker color for you. And that's another tip if you don't have a, you know, a whole lot of markers, because I don't, I don't have very many. Um, I will have the markers that I use linked down below. Um, again, I get them from Scrapbook Pal. It is an affiliate link. So use at your discretion if you want to. Um, I'm coloring both of the bunnies using E00. Again, I don't have a gray. I wanted white bunnies, but you have to add a little bit of color. Um, it just helps them look more white once you add a little bit of shadow. So I added it to the edges of their fur, and then I went back over it using the color Splendor to really blend it out. And you saw me add a little pink to their cheeks because I had to. <laughs> 
So I'm doing the same thing for him. And like I said, this is the E00. Um, when Rob, when I made my Christmas lifts, I got these from Santa, <laughs> AKA Rob. He, um, I, he got me like the skin tone set. I like, I asked for blending sets. So this is one of those sets. And again, link down below. So after I do that, I'm going to bring in a smoky slate marker. Um, I should have left it just like this and I hate that I went ahead and colored it in, but after I color it in, I go back over it with the blender pen. The one thing you're not going to see me use in this video is my Wink of Stella pen and that's because it's out. So when I get paid, the first thing I'm getting <laughs> is like a 12 pack of Wink of Stella. So for her bow, I brought in my V25 and my V22 marker. And then I'm gonna use the coordinating dies and a piece of washi tape. When I do this, I run the piece of washi tape along my hand or my arm. That way it doesn't pull the ink off. I also ran the, die, um, the egg die through and cut out just a bunch of eggs. This piece of paper measures about three and a quarter inches by five and a half. And when you're making a bridge card, your finished card will be five and a half inches wide. Um, so you need to make sure that your card is five and a half inches wide. And you'll see me overhang my eggs, but when I go to adhere, I'm only adhering the back sheet and then I will go ahead and cut like the bridge part and then I will cut off um, the excess of the eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere him using um, dimensional adhesives and you can see, these are from Stamping Up and you can see here that <laughs> I am using the side pieces. Like I say, use every single bit. You paid for that, you might as well use it. So I really like how this card turned out. I love bridge cards. They're so much fun. Um, I think the next card I'm going to make may be a, um, either a shadow box card or maybe we'll do a pop-up card. Let me know in the comments down below which one you'd rather see or a shaker card, um, any one that you want to see. So I had these two leftover eggs and then first I thought, oh, I'll put them by his feet. And then I thought, oh, you know, I want to put it where this, um, where the sky and the cardstock meet. And so I went ahead and did that. And then on the back, you have a spot where you can put um, a card layer and put down a, um, a sentiment. So I cut down a piece of white again to two and five eighths by four. And that's where I'm gonna adhere my cute little bunny girl. Um, I already had adhesive on her cause I thought I was gonna adhere her to the side and I didn't. And then I'm going to go ahead and layer the stamps, that extra, extra special birthday. And I'm going to stamp that using pull party ink. It's kind of hard to see here because it's a light ink, but it turned out really nice. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.